everybody, how are you doing today? Thanks so much for joining me again for more tea diaries. As always, we're going to wait a few more seconds for people to join and then we are going to start. Hi, thanks so much for joining. Good morning or good evening or whatever time it may be where you are. Hello there, good morning. How are you guys doing? I hope you had a good week and are looking forward to the weekend. Hello, good morning everybody. Hi everybody. Um, as always, Manasama is not going to be in this broadcast, uh, so please don't expect him to join later or anything like that. Oh, thanks so much, very kind of you. Hi everybody. Okay, we're going to wait a few more seconds and we're going to start. Hello, good morning. Hi everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, thank God it's Friday. I'm very, um, looking forward to the weekend, so I hope, uh, yeah, we're going to have a good broadcast today. Oh, thanks so much, the weekend of you. Yeah, today is Bath Cape Day. Hey, everybody. Okay, uh, maybe let's start. So, oh, thanks so much, the weekend of you. Uh, thank you always uh, so much for all of your kind comments. I really appreciate it. Hi, everybody. Uh, so, welcome to uh, episode 30. Ooh, episode 30 of Moti Diaries. My name is Andrea. I'm the staff at uh, Mommy Moti in Winnowell. As always, I am broadcasting to you from uh, my home because I'm still working mostly from home due to the coronavirus and everything. Um, so yeah, Manasama is not going to be in this broadcast, so please don't expect him to um, be there later or anything like that because it's not going to happen. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, yeah, today is uh, another Appreciation Friday. Um, and today we are uh, appreciating the uh, lace cross temper skirt I'm wearing today too. Oh, thanks so much. Um, let's see, maybe start off with my um, coordinate from today and then I am happy to uh, introduce uh, everybody's coordinates to you as always. Thank you so much uh, to everybody who sent in their photos. Uh, it's really appreciated. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Um, since I wore the uh, white version of the uh, lace cross jumper skirt um, all the way back in episode 3. Um, I wanted to wear the blue version today and um, I am wearing the new uh, paisley version of the bad color blouse and um, I'm also wearing the cape today because I wanted to uh, show you this uh, nice layered effect that you get when you uh, put the bad color blouse color over the uh, cloak color. Um, which I think is a really nice effect. Uh, yeah, and um, originally I was planning to wear this uh, head bow as a sort of uh, ribbon brooch, but it didn't really work out as um, I imagined it. But um, I also wanted to wear these older earrings that match this jewel here, and so I um, wanted to go with other uh, gold accessories because of the. Um, as you can see, this is also gold, so I wanted to go with the gold accessories. Um, problem is that this uh, silver clasp here is still visible, so it's not really um, my favorite kind of, you know, mixing metals. is not really what I like to do, but um, yeah, so it happened today, and that's okay. So, uh, let's see, I'm also wearing the, I don't know if you can see this, um, I'm wearing the uh, blue rose over knees as well in black. Um, so I decided to go with another uh, rose themed accessory on my head as well. And then here's another head bow. Um, yeah, and then I have the uh, uh, wrist cuffs as well. Uh, yeah, and that's today's coordinate. It's not really appropriate for summer, uh, but it's really uh, a fun, you know, playing with the capes really fun, so yeah. Uh, hello, Mana Sama's not going to be in this broadcast, and uh, where is Mana? Uh, I hope he's at his own home, I don't know, so yeah. Hi. Uh, yeah, so that's my coordinate for today, and now we are going to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, now we are going to uh, move on to you guys' coordinates. <laughs> okay, let's see, so let's start with this one. This is, uh, one second. So this is from user uh, Sonia Lubani, 
uh, and she says, I'd like to share this cross-laced uh, JSK coordinate. I love the updated old school vibe this dress gives, as well as the signature and what's your feeling. It's so versatile and I look forward to... Uh, there's a typer in here. Plus, um, I look forward to cresting more coordinates with it in the future. I suppose this was supposed to say coordinating. So yeah, uh, thanks off correct, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so this is a lovely, um, you know, some black and white coordinate. Um, goes really nicely with our new uh, cross arch sharing blouse as well. So yeah, this is a uh, very simple and, uh, you know, just uh, iconic black and white coordinate, I think. Hi everybody. Let's see some comments. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for sending that in. Uh, next coordinate is from user uh, Irma Saffron. And she says, uh, I love this JSK so much because I can wear it in a very casual way as well as in a more complex coordinate. I love taking this dress when I travel as it is very easy to wear. This is how I wore it in Florence, Italy last year. It's very lovely. It's uh, lovely to hear, um, you know, that this dress uh, goes around the world, uh, so to speak. So yeah, um, yeah, this dress is made of, um, you know, polyester, so it doesn't crease as badly as um, other materials. So it's quite easy to uh, take with you. It also doesn't use up much space. So this is really good for traveling as well. You coordinate in a otherwise all black coordinate, so this really makes the uh, blue cross really stand out, I think. So yeah, that's also very lovely. Thank you so much for sending that in as well. Let's see, uh, moving on to the next coordinate. Uh, this is by user Miles Jennifer. Thanks so much for sending this in. Um, she says, I like wearing this dress as the lace cross is its own statement piece. It makes it easy to dress up or down. Yeah, that's true. Um, the lace cross is really eye-catching, so you actually don't really need that much else to have something, um, you know, that really stands out. And this is also very lovely. That's also a lovely coordinate with the uh, regular version of the bat collar blouse, same as uh, what I'm wearing today as well. And then the uh, hi there. And then she is wearing the lace-up socks with the blue ribbon as well, which of course go really well with this dress as well. Um, so this dress is one that I think um, matches both uh, solid socks and printed socks um, equally. So yeah, this is uh, really nice because it allows you to uh, coordinate in uh, many different ways, I suppose. Okay, next is... Hmm, sorry for covering your head in the second photo. Next is from user Ephemeral Opera. And she says, this piece is very striking despite its simple cut and design. The cross really stands out in the black and white colorway. Yeah, I agree. And uh, this is also another uh, lovely coordinate um, with all black, except for... I'm not sure, is this our new headdress possibly? I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. Also a lovely coordinate as well. Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining. Okay. Uh, Uh, moving on to the next coordinate. This is from user uh, Lola dot Yuri, and uh, one second she says, "Hello, this is a picture with my lace cross JSK, uh, which is one of my favorite dresses. This is a simple coordinate with a handmade headdress, white tights, and elegant shoes, and uh, an umbrella. Uh, I love this dress because I find it very elegant and gothic, also comfortable, and we can make a lot of different coordinates with it." Yeah, this is also another really lovely black and white coordinate. And uh, I don't even know what to say because yeah, it's just really um, very iconic, I think. Um, I really love the black and white uh, version of this dress a lot because um, the cross is just really striking. So yeah, thank you so much for sending that in. You look very lovely in this photo. It's a lovely background as well. Uh, next is from user Nerdy Bert. Um, let's see. She says, I love the bold statement that the lace cross JSK gives. Black and white can be coordinated in so many different ways, so this dress is extremely versatile. Uh, so this is uh, very interesting because she's using the, um, you know, the, the side frill corset, and uh, since this is an A-line dress, I don't think many people uh, would think of putting a corset over it. 
Um, but yeah, this works actually really nicely and it also goes really lovely with that striped fabric in the corset, which um, I think um, does not, you know, lend itself to a lot of coordinates uh, in that kind of way. So yeah, this is really lovely. Also love the socks with this here as well, and also surprisingly it goes nicely with this bonnet as well. So yeah, that's a really interesting coordinate. Yeah, as one user says, unexpected and beautiful. Hi there, morning. Uh, yeah, and then we have one more coordinate, which is actually, or I can't really see that. Uh, this is actually one of mine. Uh, that was a really simple summer coordinate. Also, I'm just black and white. Um, there were some details here which you can't see, but yeah, since we didn't have a lot of um, uh, uh, photos today, I wanted to just. Uh, in one of mine here as well so I'm wearing this with a short uh, white blouse so I'm also just going for a classic black and white look with all white socks as well so yeah that's one of mine and let's see and I think we should um, actually have someone who would like to um, introduce their coordinates to us uh, today so if you could just shout out if you're okay to go online well I think she's okay so let's see Naughty bird, are you there? Just wait. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I hope you can hear me. Yes, um, I can hear you. I hope everybody else can hear you as well. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hey. Uh, go ahead. Perfect. So I, you just saw me in a more formal coordinate. So I decided to wear this in a little more classic way. Um. So I am. Uh, oh, cut off my head here. So I am wearing the lace cross JSK over um, a another OP, but it actually looks quite similar to the um, Moitié black and white shirt. So you can do it either way. Um, I'm also wearing the coffin uh, lace choker as a headdress. Just wanted something a little smaller there. Um, little tiny cross. We're kind of dressed similarly actually uh, little tiny cross here and i'm just wearing some you can't really see but i'm just wearing some basic um white lace socks and vivian westwood rocking horse shoes because it is so classic and that's my corner today that's lovely thank you so much um i really like the idea of you know putting it over another op i guess it's not really that comfortable in summer though but yeah I, I had to turn up my air conditioning <laughs> because yeah. it's so hot. <laughs> yeah, mine is on really high as well because this, this cape um, is quite quite hot, yeah. So I totally understand. Thank you so much. Um, this is a really lovely coordinate and uh, I'm so excited to have another guest. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thanks so much for going live. How are you doing? Are you, are you okay? Yeah, doing well, not working. So I'm just trying to stay very busy, roller skating, working on learning Japanese, doing some sewing, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, that sounds like you're being productive, so yeah, um, I hope you can keep it up. Uh, great, uh, thank you so much for, you know, um, dressing up and joining me here, and uh, yeah, uh, I think that's it, so thank you very much, and uh, thank you. one second, oh, here we go, okay, bye-bye. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, um, I'm really excited that uh, finally I have a guest again because it has been many, many episodes since the um, last two girls who uh, came on. And uh, yeah, so I'm always really excited to, you know, talk to um, all of you for a few minutes. So um, whenever you, you know, whenever you feel like dressing up and joining me here live, um, I'm always happy to have you. So please don't be shy. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, Lace Cross Appreciation Friday. Uh, we have a comment from Manasama. It's actually the same comment um, as he had in episode three. But since it's been such a long time, I think it's okay to just read it to you guys again. And you can see my uh, lamp string here. Sorry about that. Uh, so Manasama says, The cross in the front where the white strips of lace meet is impressive. And the Mwami Mwati original cross lace on the hem is a wonderful accent. It is a JSK whose design, while simple, symbolizes more memoir. 
It is adjustable in the bag via corset lacing, so it is possible for all kinds of wearers to achieve a beautiful silhouette. So yeah, that is Manasama's uh, comment regarding the lace cross JSK. My cross keeps slipping because it's directly on this button here, which I want to hide, so don't slip. Um, and finally, this week we have another uh, gospel according to Manasama Corner for you. So um, for those who uh, don't, are not familiar with it, it's uh, sort of like a Q&A, but um, it's a little different in that Manasama is going to answer one question per week, which is kind of, you know, outlandish, more uh, weird and fun. And uh, yeah, so today's question is as follows. Uh, you are sent back into the past without any possessions such as clothes or electronics, for example, into the single period. Um, how do you prove to the people that you are, in fact, from the future? So for those uh, who are not familiar with Japanese history, the Sengoku period was from the 15th to 17th century, and it was um, almost uh, all the whole time almost uh, was the civil war and a lot of unrest. And yeah, I only, you know, uh, said that because uh, I wanted him to understand the concept. But yeah, see what his answer is. <clears throat> so Manasama says, uh, Without clothes, so does it mean you appear naked like the Terminator? Uh, a long-haired being that you don't really know whether it's a man or a woman suddenly appears. Please let me appear somewhere with no people around. It's embarrassing. Hmm. The Sengoku period, huh? There is a movie called Sengoku Jietai, um, in English it's apparently called G.I. G. I. Samurai, uh, where a small group of soldiers slip back in time to that period, uh, which I think is really interesting and like a lot. <clears throat> Their tank and weapons are transported back in time with them, and of course they are wearing camouflage. First they are victorious because of their weapons from the future, but then they are suppressed by the sheer number of troops that keep appearing, and ultimately they come to a tragic end. <coughs> Oops, this turned into a movie discussion. Uh, how am I supposed to persevere in the Sengoku period, naked and alone? Well, what are you supposed to do? Uh, I want the person who asked the question to tell me, smiles. Um, well, I'm the person who asked the question, but I don't know, that's why I asked him. So yeah, I can't tell him either. Uh, so as always, this question was uh, turned into a direction that I wasn't anticipating, um, but that's Manasama for you, I suppose. So um, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's uh, Gospel According to Manasama Corner. Uh, for those who want to check out that movie, I'm going to say the title again. It's called The G.I. Samurai in English, so maybe you can find it and watch it if you're interested. Let's see some comments. Okay. Um, let's see. So we have another quiz as well today. Um, most of you probably know that this is a re-release of a gym, uh, jumper skirt that uh, was released in 2011, I, should, I think. So I would like to know the differences between this re-release and the original release. Um, so yeah. Uh, so everybody shout out uh, the differences between this release and the um, original release, um, if you know any. Let's see if we get some answers. I hope the connection today is okay. Because, uh, let's see. The original had a velvet cross on the front. Uh, Yes, waist size is correct. Sizing is different as well. Lace, uh, lace on the hem was different if you're referring to that. Let's see. Hmm, so today, um, no, no. blue lace on the original was black and blue. I think you mean the blue cross. Yes, the blue cross on the original. It said um, this lace was black and then there was a blue ribbon tape uh, threaded through the lace. Uh, so yeah, that is another difference. So um, yeah, I think we have all the differences. So it came in, uh, the size was different, the cross on the blue version was different, the hem lace was different, and then in the back, um, the new one has corset lacing and the other, the original one had uh, ribbon ties. So since basically everybody just uh, named one of the differences. I don't know who to uh, choose as the winner today. Let's see. Mm. Let's
let's see. I think uh, today we're going to give it to Nerdy Bird. Uh, congratulations for that. And yeah, so that's today's quiz as well. I hope uh, you enjoyed today's broadcast. Um, yeah, I will be back uh, in August as well because uh, unfortunately Japan is not looking too well in terms of coronavirus either. So um, I'm going to be working from home as well in August. So that means that I can still do uh, Mochi Diaries for all of you guys. And I hope you will uh, join me again uh, as always next week on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, we really need to come up with some new ideas there. So we'll see what we can come up with and if anybody has any ideas. Uh, for what you know we could do uh, please let me know and if um, we can do it then I'm always happy to you know do things for you uh, let's see so the tea party um, emails are going to hopefully go out today um, everybody who has applied so far uh, got a spot we are about 80% full so if you still want to join um, you still have a chance to do so so still waiting for your applications um, the applications uh, link is going to go up in stories highlights and uh, yeah, so if you haven't applied yet and would still like to do so, um, there's still time. Uh, let's see. I think that's it for today. So I hope you have a lovely weekend. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. And uh, I'll see you next week. Um, thank you so much for all of your comments and for always uh, watching. And I really appreciate it. So yeah, see you in August, I suppose. Um, I think we are um, going to have um, a lot of releases next um month that you guys will enjoy so um, i'm really really excited to present those to you um all right thank you so much have a good weekend stay safe and see you next week